<laughs> yeah, enjoy your weed whacking. Uh, that's right. <laughs> that hasn't been done in a month and a half. So. Yeah. <laughs> See ya! My brother. <laughs> I think I'm done playing for today anyway. I'm all over the place though. What's going on with me? My skill level's not where it's supposed to be. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful run. I wasn't going like a bat out of hell today. Today was more about the corners. And uh, hopefully they got a, a lot of nice footage. Oh, I did about 80 or 90 miles on this sucker today. That's about 140, 150 kilometers. And uh, that's probably, you get tired and you don't realize you're getting tired. And then uh, it's like, I took off and embarrassed myself because I missed my shift and forgot to pull in the clutch when I, I was going to rev bomb somebody and then it looked kind of stupid doing that then uh, uh what else did i do yeah i couldn't do my figure eights today oh well that's why you gotta keep you gotta keep practicing your low speed handling stuff stuff like that it's a good test too to see if you're tired while you're riding like i'm not like exhausted but i'm just like i did kind of uh i cornered i didn't ride fast but it, i was really loud freaking you keep it down up there holy jeez animals always interrupting my views but i didn't ride really fast but what i did do is i was uh playing in the corners i didn't go knee down uh because uh not that you can't in some of those areas uh, if there's a if there's a highway you can go knee down and it's definitely highway 366 but i didn't go knee down because uh, you know you don't know the road that well and uh, you got sport touring tires on and not slicks uh stuff like that you know, I, I just, you know, playing to have fun, not to kill myself. It's not MotoGP, so. Uh, but those, uh, I'm getting to know those curves a little bit better, so. Uh, I, I'm going to see if I can get some external footage of me going through those corners, because I'm sure it looks pretty good. I'm getting high up on the back of the bike, getting over the back tire a bit kind of thing with my, my butt gets over the back tire and high up on the pegs. <sighs> and uh, all that, but uh, yeah, that Highway 366 is just a beautiful stretch of road. Uh, however, just to finish up, there's a lot of that stretch of road that's, uh, what you call it, completely, um, completely gravel, so that kind of puts a damper on it, but it's nice and twisty, it's like 200 miles and it's twisty for most of that, uh, sorry, and, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys Highway 366 today, because, um, I, I've been, dreaming about riding that little that little patch of road it's only a kilometer well more about five or six kilometers or whatever it is 
I don't know how far, you know, wasn't pay, I was paying attention to the road, not to the to the odometer, but uh, whatever that stretch of road is with all those twisties on it, uh, you can see how nice they are. Like, uh, But you got to be careful in there too because uh, I didn't cross the line, uh, uh, but you could cross the line very easy. But you have to keep in mind that you have to give yourself, and this is another reason why I'm not knee down and all this stuff, is that... Uh, if somebody's coming the other way, almost guarantee if they're in a pickup truck, they're going to cross over onto your side a little bit, or they're going to go onto the shoulder, uh, which throws a lot of rocks onto the um, onto the road. And if you're knee down and you're right on the side of your tires like that, and you hit a bit of gravel, you you've got no you, you you're you're at 100 percent. You got no. Uh, you got no margin of error, so I always leave myself margin of error, especially when you're learning new roads. But that that's one of my favorite stretches of roads. Been the last time I took that stretch of road was on a 1948 Harley Davidson Panhead, and doesn't corner like this thing at all. But um, no, it doesn't matter uh, what what you're riding. Scooter, Goldwing. Um, I was talking to uh, the the, the uh, owner's wife of the the. Uh, Lady Smith uh, Hotel there. They were outside painting. I was talking to them for a bit, and even the, yeah, like, like, oh yeah, we take the gold wing up there all the time. And it's, it's great, you know. It's just this, you know. It doesn't matter what bike you have. The corners are for all levels, all it's just and whatever. Uh, for somebody brand new on it, on a sport bike, uh, less is more. Uh, so I was like, I did. I went through smoothly in, in fourth gear without giving it too much, and then on back I gave it a little, little more power in third gear and just. Uh, so just to kind of take the speed off, but keep more power into it. And, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, I looked at my tires. I can see, I, I definitely, I'm like about an inch from the side, complete side of the tire. So definitely, um, great riding day. Got, I got my gift card from my dad and got to do all kinds of corners. Now I get to see my dog and then, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to just leave it at that and, but uh, that's the highway I've been, well, one of many that I want to, the Gatineau Hills, i got to show you guys that one too, hopefully by the end of the season. It all takes money. There's my cat lying lazily in the corner. Missy! Hey, Missy, I'm not waking you up, am I? But anyway. Oh, geez. 20 to two, uh, 25. A little over half past one. I left at 11. So I've been on the bike. I was only in the, in the Canadian Tire for a little bit, but... Uh, I rode, like I say, nearly 100 miles today, so I was like, you don't realize you're tired until you come back, and then that's when you're doing all your, your stupid stuff. So on the way there, you got all the energy. But I, I didn't open it up or anything today, but today was just about really, really enjoying those corners. And uh, uh, the patch of the 303 between Otter Lake and uh, about halfway to Ladysmith, that, that little stretch of road should be good footage too. And then, of course... The highway 366 that little bit there's a couple of million dollar views there so hope you guys enjoyed but anyway i gotta wrap it up i gotta put the bike away start supper the, all that stuff uh what a beautiful beautiful day ride number 39 there we go